Hi, I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. Hi, guess what? Here's something to show you. Some of the things that I run into, uh, there's some been as bad as this or worse. I would say there's been several cooks in the kitchen. The, uh, probably the original was rigid pipe coming out of the ground, which was probably in the 70s and 80s. It was probably the normal thing then. And then maybe go into a copper line. But anyway, it's rusted out pretty good, but it did not leak here. Here, this would be something from 90s, early 2000s, I would guess. This is a Quest um, Greg pipe fittings. They connected to the, uh, I think this is a brass fitting here to get a thread that they wanted to get this thread. And then they went to a black pipe, which is uh, an alternate to the Quest pipe, which is right here. And then they had gator bite or shark bite and then they went to a white pex material and then another gator bite and then they had black pipe again like this right here and they used hose clamp to hold it to a copper line and this is the way it was originally it had black pipe with the aluminum crimperings and this connected to the bottom of the water heater after that, they went on and it had white pipe again, the PEX pipe, with two hose clamps. And then they went to an adapter and it dropped it down to a half inch line from three quarter and again used a uh, hose clamp. And then went back to the old Quest fittings. Uh, so, and a lot of this was leaking. These these hose clamps are doing the job, uh, and I'm assuming that they didn't have the crimp tool, which is about 50, 60 bucks, uh, or know about it maybe. So they were able to accomplish it. But what I want you to know is this thing leaked a lot of different places. So what you want to do is now you wouldn't want to do the the brass or the uh, rigid, you would want to use a PEX and then use a brass instead of a gate valve, use a ball valve, which has got the big lever on it. It lasts longer, leak less. Uh, and then you would use PEX through here and uh, maybe gator bite here. But this, this is uh, what comes from trying to patch it up. What happens is though, you end up with a major water bill at, over a period of time. You spend a lot of money on water. And so I, I want you guys to try to follow me and I'll show you what we do with PEX. So uh, we, we replaced every bit of this with PEX and shortened it up and changed things inside beside this. But you can do this and uh, I want you to follow us and hopefully pick up something from what we do and make your life better. It's Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw and think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans, we're Americans. See you next time.